Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing OP Netherlands on Elite Iron Man mode with Historical AI. I thought I would just start off by starting from the beginning. As I've been playing it, it's been very difficult. Uh, my last video you saw, I was unable to take on the German Reich. Uh, my new strategy will revolve around ignoring production and focusing on getting our military under wraps here. I am going to take the basic production right off the bat because I still think that it's worth it. And we will be producing militaries, factories for that. Now if you create the early cruisers, that will actually be one iron less than the destroyers, interestingly enough. And then I believe when you get some Navy experience, you can upgrade the cruisers to have uh, naval torpedo tubes. And so then they can mainly act as destroyers. And we will be making some destroyers. Stretch goal is going to be... Sort of Baja class, Baja class, man, cannot pronounce Dutch whatsoever. Okay. And as always, you go with the politics first, form new government. Going to disband everything and go at max speed. There's not a lot to do for these first few focus tree badges, so you can pretty much just let everything kind of run. So I just wanted to mention there is a way to get a different military commander. Oops. That is not the order I was looking for. If you go through your focus tree, you can get a different field marshal. But I don't really like that because he's a defensive guy. And the way you do that is to go down abandon the gold standard to here appoint new supreme commander. Uh, I like this guy much better. If you want to do anything in Hearts of Iron 4, like OP-wise, you're definitely going to need oh, Spanish Civil War proccing pretty quickly. That's good. You're definitely going to need to go fascist, and you're going to need to go mobile warfare. And you're going to need to be ready to attack. Put kind of all your, your cards on attack. All right. So we have a formed a new government. The new government is kind of weak. But that's okay. And we get these Gateway to Europe decisions. The Gateway to Europe decisions actually proc, like you can press this button again. Um, I believe it's at 9 or 10 o'clock. And the quicker that you get it down, the timing down with your space bar, use the space bar to start and stop, the better. Going to be doing a lot with uh, divisions. We're going to be copying the Dutch East Indy, India divisions. Dutch East Indies, sorry, because this pulls from their manpower. It, we do not, it does not use the Netherlands manpower, so it's very powerful. And I'm kind of going to take off all these so they stop alerting me of things that I don't want to know about. 
try to trade with Russia. Russia is your ally because we're going to need Operation Barbarossa to do anything. So now the controversial thing to me here is, do I want to get mechanical computing or not? I kind of did the calculations, and I think not. Because by the time the bonus for mechanical computing uh, becomes, before you realize that bonus, basically, you're going to have to get, like, 14, something like 14 other uh, research badges here. And um, by that time, I've conquered France. So I don't really care. Like, I want to get my military in line, ready to, to conquer Belgium, Luxembourg, France. And the fastest way to do that is to ignore uh, that initial research. That initial, like, bonus to the research, that is. Because that's what it does. It's been buffed to 4%. I think it was only 3 before. And then... Electric, electronic mechanical engineering is now 3%. This is 4, and this is 5. This is a whopping 8. So you can really get good at research. But we're going to go for initial gains here. Okay, just checking everything. All right. The key that I learned is, the key thing is that, yeah, you can cancel your focus trees. Time that exactly for 1 o'clock. Yes, you can cancel your focus trees. But if I don't try to do anything with my focus trees, then I get a bonus to political power. Do you see there's not the negative 1 political power per day? So I'm just going to sit on it. And I'm going to put... Uh, my focus tree build in the description block box below so you can check out the d the focus tree build and I will literally tell you kind of when you need to build what and also when you just need to pause like I am now and just gain political power okay so there that the 10 days pass by we're gonna wait till midnight and then at 10 o'clock, boom, we can hit this button again. I'm not going to modify the government. You want to save this. Okay. Midnight and then wait till 10 o'clock. They kind of altered the game so that you can't do what I'm doing right now, but that's okay. We're going to get up to 25 and... Then we should be set to get Vulcan Vetterland. And we'll turn the government fascist. If you've watched any of my OP builds, you know I go concentrated industry. I do it as fast as I possibly can. We're not going to be switching up our production lines that much. That's why I use concentrated, because it's a bonus. It's an extra 5% bonus to manufacturing. Okay, so I need to click this button one more time. Boom. Okay, now we don't have to worry about that anymore. And what we do have to worry about is once we get it, We'll go Vulcan Vetterland, and then you get the fascist demagogue right away. Okay, right there. Cave to the Germans. As you can see, the fascist demagogue is not available yet until we start Vulcan Vetterland. Until we complete it. Menoir Rost van Tonigen. Tell me below if I actually pronounced that right. I like these like names, the Dutch names that are like the Vans and then like the double O's and stuff like that. And then it's kind of like French, but it's not. And yeah, I don't know. It's interesting to me. All right. We've caved to the Germans. And we have free trade. Yay! 
So you don't have to use your political power to go free trade. It's perfect. I am going to improve my machine tools because I'm going to be able to produce a lot more guns that way. Because my production efficiency will go up by 10%. Still holding? I'll tell you why in a second. Actually, I'll, what? I'll tell you why right now. Uh, you can, when this is 300, you could get the fascist demagogue after this is complete, and then you could also get the military uh, theorist, Gottfried von Wurst, tot Wurst. He's got the same, he's got two last names, they're the same. <laughs> and um, so you can click on him too, and then you can start generating more army experience. However, uh, I want to actually save uh, my political power so that I can go fascist faster. And you'll kind of see how that works as we go along here. So all this stuff has taken me quite a while to figure out, but, you know, no pain, no gain, I guess. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times I get to the very precipice of what I was trying to accomplish, and then it's just like, Germany's too powerful, you can't do anything. No, you can't do anything. And we're not going to do construction, because our construction sucks. Like, negative 50%? I mean, what is it, what is it going to matter? I don't have enough civilian factories to really make an impact in my opinion so I'm just gonna leave it alone and we'll just go something that's cheap I can research that very quickly it'll make my army way more functional so that's what I'm kinda thinking here this negative to iron is just affecting my naval production which I don't really care about okay here we go stop at one o'clock and in this case we're gonna go straight for abandon to abandon the gold standard. And we'll get this gentleman. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get these events and decisions right here. Fascism on the rise. Okay. I'm waiting for support for the CHU to get above 90%. Or less than 90%, sorry. That must be the Democratic Party. And then I'm going to open up a political disclosure. And once I open up a political disclosure... Oh, shit. What else did I click? I expanded civil support? Oh, mother. Okay, I get more fascism support. Okay, so I'm going to get fascist faster. Okay, that's all right. I did not intend on clicking that. But anyway, so now after you open a political discourse, then you can get fascist assault divisions and foreign intervention, which will turn you fast, fascist that much faster, including if you expand civil support, but it decreases your weekly stability, and that in turn decreases your factory output, dockyard output, political power gain. So I don't like to decrease stability. Don't like to do that. And I've done that before. I've double-clicked it on accident because I'm like, oh, it came up. But then that one disappears, and I accidentally click the next one. So that's okay. We'll just let it go. I think it's only like 25 political power. But that means that I get my boy Godfried a little slower. So that's not good because that's uh, penalizing my army experience. Okay, we're at 11% very early so that means we could protect against the British if we were down that far but we are not so world tension needs to rise above 10 percent to be able to get to the also important war on pacifism and the point of war on pacifism is you get events and decisions. All right, we get our, my man, Godfrey. What else is cheap? What else? I like getting the airplanes early. But mobile warfare. Tanks and armor variants, plus 20% breakthrough. Be broken right here. This is, this is really good. Organization loss when moving, negative 10% for everyone. Division speed, plus 10% for everyone. Planning speed, plus 50%. Those are all excellent things that I like to use. That's the way I play. Fast and loose. That's a little too expensive. 
we can go anti-tank, or I could just get anti-tank from the Dutch East Indies from license production. I think I'm going to try to do that this time. So the next thing is I could either get, let's go for the planes. I'll go ahead and get this fighter. Okay, so you have to get rid of Shell Shock Spectator of the Great War. Negative 50% population factor. Negative 25% factory output. Negative 10% dockyard output. You get rid of that by going war on pacifism. And then you have to spend a ton of political power to be able to get these events and decisions. You have to click it like five times, I think. And it costs you... 35 political power a piece. What is that? Quick math in my head, something around 180, something like that. I probably got that wrong. 180 political power is quite a lot, but obviously it just makes everything work after that. Expand civil support. We're not going to be doing any of this stuff. We're going to be holding a national referendum. It'll be interesting if we get assault divisions. It lowers your stability, though. I don't think foreign intervention does, though, so that would be something good to get. Concentrate in industry again. I think what we need to get is probably engineering. Like, it's important that we get modern airplanes. When we take Belgium, we're going to be getting support equipment. And then I can filter in the engineers. You do start off with um, recon companies, but engineering is so much better. You get a little more speed with recon, sure, but I don't think overall that it's going to be as impactful as the engineering. Because you get better entrenchment with engineering. So you can hold the line better. Hopefully, world tension stays at 10%. I've been getting a lot of um, kind of communications from people like, hey, I tried your build. It didn't work. It might be because something's spiking world tension randomly. This could be it's still at 5% right now, you know. And the world tension mechanic is very good. I really like it. And basically, if I tried to place a war goal against um, Belgium I uh, depending on how high the world tension is that'll that'll matter in if uh, if like France guarantees Belgium in other words if I attack Belgium if they uh, ally with Belgium against me and declare war on me and I think the magic number if I'm not mistaken is 30 percent world tension the allies will start um, guaranteeing minor nations. All right, elections, fascists in the government. Yes, rather than the communists every time. So fascism will jump up 10% right there. We haven't gotten any of those random events yet. So this is a fine division right here. And we can actually begin just churning these out. Seventeen divisions, why not? And then the question is, so <laughs> world tension went down there, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to sit. This is another one of those, I'm going to wait till world tension spikes to 10%, then we're going to go protect against Britain. And when world tension goes to 15%, we'll go on war on pacifism. We're just going to chill. There's nothing else that we can do right now that is going to be as game-changing as these two things and stacking up our political power. So it's like the worst thing in the world, but you're just sitting here and chilling. 
And it took me, like, I had to, like, train myself. Oh, my God, I'm just, I got to be doing something. I got to be clicking on something. We're going to hold again. Don't, don't modify the government yet. Keep your eye right here. We need to hold that national referendum, and we need to get world tension to spike. I don't think there's anything that we can do besides declaring war against, like, Belgium to get world tension to spike. What happens in that case is Belgium gets a huge heads up that, hey, the Netherlands are coming. Let's churn out a bunch of divisions. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. You want to use your focus trees in order to attack Belgium. That's going to be your best bet. Okay, there we go. Leadership purges are typically our cue for that little extra spike that we need. Whoa! Japan declares war on China, and we're on to the races. So we should be good. We should be good here. Okay, we got that concentrated industry, so we can go there. And we got some anti-air flowing in. That's fine. I just want to know when the East Indies gets that AT. That anti-tank. They don't have it yet. But they're going to have it. Then I won't have to use my precious research, my three year research slots trying to figure out the anti-tank situation. The reason why I feel you need anti-tank is for a long time you could just go anti-air um, support support anti-air, filter that into a division template or two and you could go up against like the Russians for instance. I think they fixed that and I think that that's why I can't take on Germany as well. So my theory is Sure. No? I'll just sit here and wait. I'm that obsessive over this game. It's just like, nope. I'll wait till this turns out. Make that one plane. That one plane is going to be the difference maker, dude. And then I'll switch production. But I digress. Yeah, you need that anti-tank in order to take on the German mediums. This looks like a light division, but they have mediums by 1940. And they have, like, full-strength divisions or something. It's ridiculous. So I don't think that you can use AA. I think you have to have support anti-tank to have enough piercing in order to combat that. We're going to need a whole lot of guns and a whole lot of artillery. We don't need support equipment at all right now. Going for kind of cheap things first. I think we got... No, we'll get the... Oh, sweet. And all these divisions are popping out. Excellent. The next thing we get is the trucks. Yeah. Oh, why did it do that? Damn it. So as you can see there, we're not like, all we need to do is take a few cities here. We don't need to like do anything crazy with Belgium. We don't need to go through the Ardennes here. And is this the Moss River? Like we don't need to cross the Moss. We just need to get into Brussels and Namur and Liège. And we should be good. Nothing crazy. Once we have the support equipment from Belgium, we can filter that into our divisions. The Belgian divisions themselves, I like to give a little marine. We're going to be doing a little something different here. 
that I'll get to later on in the video. Okay, War on Pacifism, and it's on like Donkey Kong. We hold until we get strength over blood. And we need to hold, to hold a national referendum to get that. And we're almost there. First things first. Anti-pacifism uh, propaganda. You get a huge deficit to political power. Weekly war support goes up. Recruitable population goes up. It basically re uh, reverses the shell shock spectator of the Great War. So we're going to click on that. It's going to devastate your political power, but it's completely necessary. 100%. There's not anything that you can really do about it. So you're kind of just, at this point, you're just looking at this. And we need to make sure that we demand a referendum. Hold a referendum. Okay, we're fascist. Boom. So we go strength over blood right away. You're going to follow this pattern. You can check it out yourself, see what I'm doing. Strength over blood. Netherlands first. Implement the program. De Jugstrom, the United Netherlands. And the United Netherlands is the one that will give you, the focus tree badge that will give you the Belgium uh, and Luxembourg war goals. It's a lot cleaner if you go that direction and just go through the focus trees. We still don't have an anti-tank. I'm hoping they get anti-tank or I can get anti-tank from Germany or, or something. I don't know. I think I'm going to wait till I take out France to get it. I don't know. So we don't care about um world tension I guess we do a little bit we need to get Belgium and Luxembourg before world tensions over 30 percent okay keep clicking away <laughs> so that was two so now we need to click that three more times I like it it like you have to make you have to pay attention you have to do all this stuff right but then I hate it because you have to pay attention and do all this stuff so the the events and decision mechanic gives a lot of flavor but it also gives a lot of micro so the good with the bad and you can see my recruitable population factor was fixed there When this gets up to 10, I can put my artillery in there and make some of these divisions that are a little better than the Dutch East Indies divisions. Right now, I'm just looking for volume. Like, we probably have enough to take them out, to be honest with you, like right now. Okay, I've got enough command power. We're going to pause here, and this is where we make this field marshal aggressive. Offensive doctrine and organization first. And then after that, um, let's see here. I pick Carl, and he's going to go destroyer leader and loading drill master. And we're going to go Johannes. Looks like a Dutch prince. Did I do that right? I probably... No. No, that's the subfleet. I go Conrad. Okay. Well, that's okay. That wasn't too bad of a mistake. Why do I do it? I'm not going to go into great explanation. It just seemed to work better when I do the Netherlands uh, kind of Operation Sea Lion. Keep 
our eye over here. We're at 30%, but I don't, I think world tension will go down by the time we start invading countries over there. Okay, two more clicks. And we can upgrade our divisions. Ooh, this engineering company. 10% attack on a fort. River movement, 25%. And for the recon, it's like river movement, 10%. <laughs> so it's just kind of weird. Like, the engineering is so much better. Like, almost in every situation, it's better. So I got to think about that when I'm creating these divisions. How much artillery do I have left? I have like seven. Okay. Well, maybe I should just train like vanilla divisions and then filter things in later. That doesn't make sense. I should really get some support artillery into them first. They're going to need that. And we're going to need some reserve manpower to just kind of hang out in case we need them for replacements. Okay, I think we're back on to the construction train over here because there's not uh, much else that I can do that will be useful. We never got mobile warfare? That was a mistake. It might be 200 days before I attack um, Belgium. That might be the case. I don't know. Probably not. Implement the program is pretty good. Increases our stability. Increases popularity. of Fascism is kind of like a moot point at this point. We get early mobilization without having to pay any political power. So that's why we're going to that first. And eventually, we're going to go and get, um, not total mobilization, but war economy. Okay, got to click that one more time. And now we'll safely start to go for construction again. 300 days, yeah. Let me upgrade this gentleman while I have, while I remember to do it. Torpedo screen penetration, plus 25%. The bonuses are a little scary to me, like they look pretty powerful to those leaders. And the Dutch have a fairly good naval tradition, and their leaders are fairly strong in my opinion. You get to upgrade them a lot. Filter this guy down at the bottom. All right, can't get United Netherlands yet. Got to get rid of Shell Shock, Spectator of the Great War. It's coming. Kind of a lot of pauses. Not a lot going on yet, but it's going to get crazy soon enough. Soon enough, my friends. I'm glad I was able to do this over again and show you guys everything from top to bottom because I think it's important. You know, when I first started off, Man the Guns was kind of new. You learn things through the journey. Okay, last time we click that, and then this should go away. Our factory output should no longer be crappy. We 
We should be getting more guns here, and then I need more artillery, like, really badly. We'll also get motorized from, from our friends in Belgium. They don't seem to have, like, I'm pretty sure Belgium doesn't have all these negatives to everything. So they have pretty good manufacturing right off the bat. But it just feels like the whole theme of this is like, ah, uh, the Dutch are downtrodden after the Great War, just, like, not participating in everything, and I don't know. We're trying to bring up the, the Dutch people here, you know? Okay, De Uxtrum, and then we're waiting. Next thing, I can take back French Flanders, which I'm going to need to get eventually. Let's time this out. I'll get mobile warfare no matter what. I'm going to wait and build up my political power since I made that mistake of getting click happy up here or wherever it was. Uh, we'll wait. So I'm going to need to get taking back our old colonies and taking back French Flanders. It is better to go down this uh, line right here, United Netherlands, taking back our colonies to Imperial Ambitions because, lo and behold, you get 10% factory output, 5% uh, dockyard output, and 10% war support. So it's very handy. Okay. We should be able to get United Netherlands. Perfect. And then we uh, take Belgium. It's going to happen. Let me get rid of some of these guys. These guys come out. Just so they can get on the line get entrenched if they need be. So another thing to be aware of is man the guns the AI is naval invasion happy, which they should be. Once I start getting tanks, I go to right here and then I stop. We're below 30%. I should be able to attack both of these nations without anyone interfering. I'll throw in the engineering divisions after we conquer Belgium. As you can tell, I'm a little click happy. And it would be nice to get this to War Economy next. But I do need to, like, upgrade my military here. So mobile warfare is so important. What am I doing? That's only 223 days, so I'll go for the industry. Get great war tanks on the docket. Yeah, that looks good. Do we have a T yet? Nope. No A T. Okay, then you just go straight down here and then you can get taking back Flanders. There is plenty of time to do that. You have to wait for Germany to develop events for Poland, and then you can attack France while they're focused on Poland. Make sure our planes are up in the air. Make sure the battle plans are going. And let's declare war. Call allies so that your East Indy divisions here actually can do something. Don't allow any volunteers. That screwed me over so many times. With the uh, the volunteers from other countries. Don't do that. Just don't do it. 
And you're going to see why. Capital moved to Liège. For some reason, I thought it was Brussels, but it moved. It moved automatically. Yep. Yepers. I'm trying to think what else I need to produce. Planes for sure. Anti tank for sure. Better to do that right off the bat. Just get all this production going. 49,000 equipment, fellas. 49,000. Now we're going to go spearhead goals. Spearhead orders to Paris. Okay, questione. If I declare war, is anyone going to interfere with me here? Not yet. Okay. Get on that line. I know world tension is above 30%, but this should work out. Okay. Just to annex that. Annex that guy. If we get it quick enough, hopefully the allies don't come in. Perfect. All right. We're going to send all the Dutch East Indies divisions back to the Dutch East Indies. The reason for that is I want Britain to soak their divisions right here. Britain and all their allies, I just want them to stand here. And we're not going to bring Dutch East Indies against the war against the allies. They're just going to be our partners in standing still, basically. So at this point, we need to think long and hard about all the divisions that we need to churn out. We're going to need a lot of them. So this gentleman has a trait that allows general max army size plus six. So I'm just going to put him all along this front right here. He should be able to hold that. Fingers crossed. I'm going to need to make a few more generals. And Godfrey here is going to be the man to take out Paris. Once you take out Paris... France will capitulate. Okay, we can start filtering some things in here to our divisions. They're going to get engineering and support anti-air. And then I want to do the same over here, but we're going to have to wait. So we'll train some motorized divisions that will be with Gottfried. I think that it's more realistic to maybe just go for three. And then we'll use the rest of the motorized to be able to... Actually, let's just go for two. We'll use the rest of the motorized to do armored divisions. Make sure that you do the Dutch East Indies divisions first because the AI will cap you. Okay, I just wanted to see not enough manpower. So this probably needs to be around like 30 because I don't want them to run out of manpower. And then train your infantry division. you train them first for some reason it'll cap you it won't allow you to make anything else for whatever reason I have no idea why so that was pretty clean my friends get those weapons too bam 
Now we're sitting pretty. We're going to immediately repudiate the Treaty of London and we'll bring the Low Countries together unto, under Leo Belgis. We get that beautiful orange right there that I love. And this is the orange that I want to paint. The and that is the point. Look at this. 300,000 manpower. Thank you. You're welcome. So what are we doing now? We are taking back the old colonies. We're going to go Imperial Ambitions and then taking back French Flanders. If you get the war goals here, Conquer Focus on France, and then that's what we're looking for there. And Conquer Focus, you get a claim on Nord de Pas de Calais and you get a war goal against France. So the more times that you're able to the more like war goals you're able to get the more war score you're going to get that's what it says when you declare war and this needs to be poured in the political power needs to be poured into things to make our military better See if anyone else is upgradable here. It doesn't look like it, fortunately. That infantry expert trade is whoo, that's hot. One thing that we need is our stability to increase. Did one of these improve our stability? Imperial ambitions. Dang, just our war support. Damn. I want our stability be to be better. So we get all those war goals. And as you can see, there's 55 troops lined up against here. That's actually not too bad. There's usually around 75. So I don't know if their troops are microed to North Africa, French, France's troops. So this is a good sign. Like, we could actually declare war early if they keep that configuration. Like, we might be able to take out an, enough of their troops. Move these guys down. And of course, as we put troops on that line, they're going to start stacking up more troops as well. The thing that's going to happen is, so Germany just took Mamel in Lithuania there, and then they're going to take Poland, then they're going to start justifying a war goal against France, and Italy, I don't know, maybe sometimes they're going to ally with Germany, and then Italy will be in the same faction, so basically it'll be like they'll be justifying a war goal too, I'm not sure, but all those divisions, the 55 right here, will be pulled to these other two fronts. Poor France has like one, two... They're bordered with way too many countries. We're not going to join the Axis. It's not going to happen. I want to make sure I'm good on my equipment. i got a 1,000 motorized and reserve. Perfect. Support equipment is there. Perfect. Let's enter in these engineering divisions into our mainline troops. Bam. Godfrey's got to be happy about that. Okay. We need to make another division commander here. Nicholas Verov. So we're basically like got this huge front over here, right? And you see all the French divisions coming in. It's not fortified. That's the best part. Going to go for that extra war goal.
This is a very normal, like, <clears throat> narrow front. Everything's stacked up right there. Because this is going to balloon out. We're going to need a lot of guys right here in this army. These guys are holding forces. They're standing there looking like, hey, hey, over here, over here. No, that's not where the main attack is going to go. The main attack is just going to go right here. Sedan is right here. That's where Germany, Germany famously, that was the target. They needed the crossing of the Moss at Sedan. And then after that, you can get into Paris. We have the luxury of not having to go from here to here. We can just start off. The shortest between distance between two points is a straight line. Like three more of these guys. Let's see if I can... Wow, we got enough equipment. We got enough manpower. Let's keep on going here. See, you can see I can't train anyone else. And I don't want to train any more of these uh, Dutch East Indies divisions because they're running out of manpower. That's what they were telling me. What I do need is these divisions have anti-tank and I definitely need to filter them out, like spread them out in between several different armies. Gonna make another army. Coastal defense. Just making sure that that's completely painted because the allies will definitely go for your coastline immediately. And we will want a general there. Right, war tank gets upgraded. The more of these divisions that I can churn out, the better. That's so sweet that that's 90. Actually, we need that switched. We're going to be able to create six military factories here very quickly because of that 90 um, infrastructure speed there. Okay, I might want to spread the love here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll take two of these guys, put them over here. I want to make sure that these guys have enough anti-tank. It looks like they have five. That should be plenty. It's April 1939. And they still have 71 divisions on my front. It's no bueno. Am I running out of anything? I'm running out of artillery. It would be nice to have a vanilla division. Okay, so we got all that. The question is what to do next. So if they make a s successful landing and we go like continue the public works, it's going to stop because I need to control all of the Netherlands. So if they get a foothold here, uh, that focus tree will no longer continue to complete. Just to let you know. But I think I can sneak that one in. Yeah, let's get that support. Equipment. As soon as these uh, divisions start to filter away, I'm just going to proc these ones out. Still have plenty of manpower. And as soon as it allows me to make more, I'll make more. It's just because I filtered in this marine division. The other thing that I can do is ask the Dutch East Indies for just like a vanilla template like this because I think I have enough guns. So we'll come back here and I'll give them um, the gun symbol to designate kind of what their purpose is. 
I only have 9,000 guns, though, so I don't think I want to make that, those divisions. Keep chugging along here. Do I want to do the Bergman? We're not going to upgrade to the Bergman. That's not going to happen. It costs an extra iron. We don't have a lot of iron, so I'm going to hold off on that right now. Okay, Italy has joined the Axis, and the divisions are filtering away. I'm going to proc all these guys out. How many guys? This guy needs 12 divisions, so you probably want to give him more than 12, to be honest with you. Let's go with this, see if I can get some more infantry out, just really quick for this coastal defense. Oh, that's what I need to do. There's going to be a time when I'm basically going to be forced to attack here. But I want to get these guys out of training as fast as possible. What I want to do is get further reinforce the ports. Because that makes an English invasion pretty difficult. Okay, so we get the army offense guy, and like we're good to go. Like We could attack right now if I felt comfortable in doing so. I think that was a little too bold of a decision to make two of these guys because I don't have enough uh, guns on tap. Only a thousand. Uh, how much AA? 45. And not enough artillery entirely. Okay. Let's back off on this. As soon as I can get these guys out, we'll do it. What's his battle plan? Risky? Let's give him two more divisions and the coastal defense gets the rest. Make sure they're nice and settled in. I was like, who the hell was that? Yeah, you can just join the rest of your compatriots over there. All right, fingers crossed. Here we go. They got 34 divisions against... Um, we got 54 plus 9... 63 divisions. Hmm. Simple math favors me. It's July 1939. Germany's definitely going to go for Poland. I'm pretty sure we're ready to go. They pretty much fire off like almost immediately that's going to take 35 days but they fire off like a naval attack almost immediately the french and the english so you need to be prepared these guys need their entrenchment to be full in order to repulse that attack and you need to have like two guys up here okay that's looking okay the whole coastline too because they'll they're crazy They'll, like, come in over here, over here, where there's no port. AI's getting smarter. Sky Knight is real. Okay, give me some more of that precious iron. See, you have to have, like, full control of Ho Holland and Friesland to get this. As soon as that's complete, I'm ready to go. Like, we're going. Like, I want to make sure we're, we almost have it or we have it. All right. So they're about to, to declare war. Let's just do it. And you see, I get two conqueror focuses. I'm not going to call my allies. But this is going to give me more war score. This war goal will make it more, make selected states cheaper to pick at the peace conference. So if I pick both of them, you know, it does give me more war t world tension, but world tension is like 40%. What do I care? 
all the allies are going to come in against you. That's why we have that coastal defense, though. They don't have paratroopers. They're not going to be doing anything crazy. We're not going to go field marshal orders. Just basic general orders. Do not accept troops from anywhere else. Germany has to get a war goal against you to get uh, to the war goal against France, basically, through their focus tree. So don't panic at that point. We're still okay. And then we reinforce the ports. We're good there. Um, we're, we don't care about southward defense, but what I can do is prepare a naval expansion. Three naval dockyards is pretty good. I still need to have full control of my country basically so we'll see if we can do that you usually have to shift troops up okay there's the amphibious landing that we're winning hmm like I can like I'm definitely not gonna get now we're losing that. Okay, so we're going to have to pull everyone up. They're least likely to attack right here because I have troops right here. So we can pull these guys up. That would make the most sense. Let's see if we can do that. No! Do not do that, whatever you do. They'll get picked off almost immediately. Okay, they're holding, they're holding. Especially because I have air power, air supremacy. Need these guys to knock through. They'll just go in a straight line because I have them on spearhead orders. And I'm... What? Why'd you get off of that? That doesn't even make sense. Let's see if I can get license production. AT! You know it. Okay. All right, we're a team. That was pretty cool. Not going to worry about the supply situation just yet. Oh, everyone needs to be on aggressive. Let's see if any of these guys are upgradable. I wish it had like uh, something that would tell you if they were able to upgrade. Should be interesting. Okay, so the British Expeditionary Force just came in. And see, they're attacking this weird spot, and my troops moved. The only thing that really matters here is right this tower right here. Okay, this is super important. You need to micro your motorized infantry around. Because we could take Paris fairly easily here. And that's it. We should be able to hold. Unless they want me to take Calais. I can take Calais. Don't let those guys move. Looks like they might get Paris back. Okay, shouldn't get too cocky. You need to move up, my friend. This is not good. Oh, 
I'm gonna take that motorized division out. Okay, they're making me take Calais. guys this see this needs to be altered Let's see if they attack better now oh they're gonna take Paris back come on boys come on like if you can come in and you can move up or you can move over like that way to Rhone Getting a little sticky. All right, we can we can force our way into Calais, I think. Not gotten Paris back. Okay, that was it. Seven hundred tanks and plenty of weapons. Perfect. Oh, they did get a few territories over here. I wish I could have gotten that a little quicker. They basically got all of all sense Lorraine. And what I like to do immediately is form my naval invasion. Typically good to right there. You guys have probably seen me do this before, so nothing new. Question is, what do I need? What do I need? Probably more guns. I don't have that yet. Okay. Is there anyone else I need to clean up? Yep. Alright. You, sir, will be on the cleanup squad in a few. You guys need to go down there. Maybe I can get this truck to head down there, like, super quick. The motorized divisions. Excellent. They're still trying to get in over there. He needs 14. Darn it. Hmm. Well, he's not going to get 14 units, so we're going to have to click him off. 7. Okay, that's fine. And we'll occupy the rest of France here. And hope they don't go for any of my ports. Typically they don't. See what we're doing here. See what we're working with. We lost 62,000. France lost 94. I'll take it. I might be able to spread these guys out a little bit. Or not. Germans get Germany is getting their thing on there. Okay, they moved over to, to Tulu. If I could capture that, that would be real nice. If I could get in there first. Nope. Okay. Can't upgrade him to infantry expert. That would have been so nice to do.
Okay, we're just going to prepare our naval invasion here and see what we can do with templates. We got a ton of um, stuff that we have to upgrade. So we can split these into two kind of flavors here. The armored division should have enough piercing. So we're going to have to maybe make like this infantry template, like give them anti-tank and engineering. But I don't want to ruin this, so we're going to duplicate it. Give them that symbol. And this is going to be a very strong division. And if we can turn those out first. And I want to see where the limit of manpower is. If the Dutch East Indies got a lot more manpower. It looks like they did. Wow. I'm just trying to get the manpower to zero so I kind of know how many divisions I can churn out. Not enough manpower or equipment so we don't know. They might not even even have ran out of manpower there. So this is all like anti-tank that we don't have. If I need anti-tank divisions and I'm holding a pretty big front here, how many am I going to need? I would say I would need at least like 24. So let's go with that. Wow. Let's go with 30 AT divisions. Train up some armor here. They're going to get the motorized artillery. Engineering and recon. Just so they can move as fast as they're going to be able to move. Dude, I can make them super like, ooh. That's so juicy. That's such a strong division template right there. What are they missing? Probably just artillery, huh? Missing motorized? Not sure if that's correct. Okay, then it filled in. Okay. Uh, motorized divisions. Let's give them... Motorized artillery. And motorized anti-tank. I can't do it yet because I don't have enough um, army experience. But if I were to put in motorized anti-air, it would give us to a combat width of 19. Maybe I'll give them that just to improve the piercing. Piercing is 13. This makes it 14.9. Okay, all right. I'll do it. Let's train a couple of these divisions. I still have 3,000 motorized left. Six hundred and fifty-five. Okay, I gotta be careful with this. Three armor divisions is typically good. I already have two motorized divisions. Um, I think it's good. I think uh, I'm gonna need a lot of reserves. Let's see how many tanks I have. Six hundred and thirty-seven. A lot of them are old school tanks that I'm gonna be upgrading. Hmm. I'm just going to hold off and just try to improve these division templates and filter in um, forces that way. What are we heavy on? We have 50,000 guns. It's fine. Let's try to train all these divisions that we possibly can.
still 175. That's plenty of uh, units in reserve. Okay, so that'll be happening. Waiting for our naval invasion to get up to speed there. I will accept Lend-Lease. That's the one good thing. If you know you're not going to attack right away... Oh no, did they get... Okay, they stopped. If you know that you're not going to attack someone right away, it is good to be in the negative here because people will give you... Other nations will give you Lend-Lease. Okay, we're going to go for Panzer Gashut because that will greatly increase our soft attack. So it's basically a tracked artillery piece that you're making there. These get upgraded. Need a lot more tungsten. Can get that from the Soviets as well. And we're good on everything else. That's crazy. All right. I do like to get my rubber from Germany. <laughs> I think because they start uh, making refineries. And the last thing we need to do is all these planes that I captured, we need to make sure that they're involved. It looks like we got a fair amount of planes from the French, so that's good. Want to get air superiority over the channel here. God, it always makes me nervous. I do not need a successful British naval invasion over here. Like, that's definitely going to be successful. Okay, let's, let's move troops up immediately. Just the ones that aren't a part of the naval invasion. Yeah, just those guys. Oh, but it is everyone. God damn it. Okay, you guys halt. Everyone else moves. Okay, they ran out of steam. Getting a little antsy here. Okay, do I want a fuel silo in a building slot or research? I don't, I don't want to do any of this. I just don't like it. Um, I think that we're going to be able to hold, so I'm going to start working on my construction speed. I think that's the best thing to do right now. Oh, I forgot to assign them. My fault. Okay, so you guys can go back now. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to take our naval invasion across. Like the Battle of the Medway, this is like, there was this cool Dutch naval invasion where they went in and uh, up the Thames River. God damn it. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> and they basically took out the English Navy, like a large portion of it. Uh, the history guy has a good um, thing on it. Oh no, Germany's going to take it. You better not. No! That just screwed me. This is stupid. I hate you, Germany. Anyway, Battle of the Medway. They can worry about it. And you see the medium tank there. Damn it! Wish that hadn't happened. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get... Continues the Darzy because I don't have c total control of Friesland. Maybe I just need to go beast mode. God damn it. That's so bad. Okay. We're ready. We're ready to cross. Let's make sure. These guys have na naval invasion orders. guys are out there. Naval supremacy, 0%. Awesome. 
Panzergeschütz. Thank you. So we'll start filtering um, these guys into one of my templates. Something like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> my bad. Okay. Light SP artillery. Combat width is now 23. No bueno. Combat width 20. Piercing 19.6. That seems good enough, but I'm going to give him support AT just in case. Just in case it's not enough. It's just a matter of time. I will be able to come across here. Yeah, I don't think that this crap should be permissible. That Germany can just come in and take a piece of my territory here. Oh shit, I can take it back. Perfect. Okay, let's get a task force. Get those guys up there. If we can get in there, maybe we could take it back. Go! Now! Oh, shit. Okay. You guys stay over here, then. Air appears to be microed well. Navy is what it is at this point. I don't know what's going to be most impactful. Probably going for CAS or something. We can always get license production for CAS, but there's not really a lot I can do here. So we're just going to wait. It usually comes across. At some point, there's a gap. So you can't do it. So it's like, what do I do now? Damn it. Excuse me. Really sucks because I can't even get to the extra research. I guess I'll get another silo since I don't have anything else to do. Okay, so the English Navy might come over here because I think Germany just declared war against Yugoslavia or something like that. Wow, Italy's getting their butt kicked in North Africa. That's crazy. They're just getting destroyed. Two hundred ninety-seven thousand casualties. Gotta be something. Sometimes if I just sit here and micro the air, I kind of feel that it helps a little bit. Sometimes not. Oh, I got new guys. Perfect. Oh, no, no, no. Have these guys, they need them up here for sure. Stop, go up that way. Just kind of filtering these guys into wherever I can. economy would be the best thing that we can possibly get.
suppose we'll start working on the old naval um, research. Everything looks good here. I don't know why we just don't have... So what we can do here, we can put the one of our fleets to patrol since it's saying that we don't really we can't s we don't have enough information we lack sufficient intel okay it's saying we have a good plan we still lack the intel god they're sending over people without even okay there proct okay Perfect. And all of our submarines are destroyed. <laughs> That's kind of how it goes with this, guys. So you just got to hang in there. Put him in there. Okay. Got to pay attention here. Make sure that our troops can get across. Oh, they have people there. Maybe that'll help. I doubt it. I think it's basically over right now. Bam! Okay, on like Donkey Kong. So they were sending this naval invasion over here. It's clear to me now. a motorized division to go to Dover one straight into London we're just going to kind of spread out in all directions here Horrifying sounds of war. Here's where I can try to sneak the rest of my stuff across. Okay, we've, we're repairing um, two of my... What are these? Coastal defense ships, I think, is what they are. I have nothing else to kind of defend a crossing if I want more troops in there. There might be not too many troops in the English Isle right now. So we're going to have to see. Might be able to snatch up London without a lot of fuss here. Only thing limiting us now is manpower. We have enough production. I think. German Reich. No, we don't have enough production. <laughs> we do not. Oh man, they just have tons of units over there. Let's see if I can get Portsmouth. I'm going to have to say Are these guys on orders. Well, let's hope so. Because I need more troops over there. It's obvious to me they've got a ton of troops right there. Doing a naval invasion on me? Yeah. Looks like they got over unimpeded. Oh, no enemies. 
Yeah, they got a lot of troops over here. It's March 1940, so they were able to get a few troops out. Good for them. Resistance here. I think as soon as we're able to get London, though, it's going to be game over. Some reason their planes are nowhere to be found over here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> God, they're still trying to do amphibious assaults against me. It's crazy. All right, got London. Yes, sir. That's the light. Ooh. That's my fault. I actually wanted to do something like that. Germany probably has more rubber now. Yep. So we're okay on rubber. Infinite steel from the Soviets. Tungsten from the Soviets. This should be enough guns. What are they waiting on? Anti-tank, wow. Give these guys more marching orders here. Let's take the south of England. All right, got Liverpool. ugly. So, <clears throat> my idea here, oh boy, pocketed off some of my troops. My idea is to build Hadrian's Wall. Now, Emperor Hadrian was a Roman emperor. Um obviously like thousands of years ago, but basically he made a wall here at the neck of the United Kingdom to keep the Scots out. What are you doing? Oh, this is so bad. Why would you do that? Just get back. Stop killing yourselves. Just instant death. Why would they do that? Talking about Hadrian. It's my fault, guys. Oh, don't get picked off. So, anyways, that is my thinking. If I can get around Glasgow here and just hold everyone off, that's what I want to do. So the star moves from London to Liverpool to Glasgow. You get three stars, you win the game. You basically, the allies capitulate, all of them. And that's kind of the whole gist of what I'm trying to do right now. 
is I do not want that to happen. I do not want to get into a peace conference with Italy, Germany, and myself. They're just going to bully me around. They're bigger than I am. So hopefully what we can do is just kind of grind war score here. And if I can grind enough, maybe when the peace con when I want to have the peace conference proc, I'll have enough war score to actually keep France, to keep um, the UK over here. And that's my thought. The only thing that's really killing me here is I cannot improve my construction since Germany has that little piece of the Netherlands. So that's kind of annoying. We need to cut these guys off. I don't know why these guys just stand here. There, we got an encirclement. We got Portsmouth and had all these guys move over here. could get more encirclements right there that would be awesome so we just got encirclements right there I have maybe these guys move down here damn we still need a lot of anti-tank this is a healthy amount of guns to have in reserve if we're going to have a long protracted war. So, I'm not worried. We're going to need all this manpower. Okay, we got the encirclements. Excellent. Okay, let's see if I can micro this air a little better. God, all that red is so scary. Three divisions? Let's see if we can't do more. Take their airfields. Take their ports. Encircle them here. We can encircle five divisions right there if we move correctly. Particularly, this motorized division is so important. They can move so quickly. Just jumping across the map. Just get that encirclement. some resistance. If these guys just move down there, that's the only port. I should get encirclements down there too. And the way you can tell is that we got 100,000 here and the UK's lost half a million to my 100,000. That's pretty sweet. I'm liking it. It's getting nasty. Modernize the cruiser fleet. Sure. These guys should just be melting to us. Come on. Schmelt. Get some 
attrition issues. Wow, that's a lot of divisions coming in there. Well, we could potentially put Hadrian's Wall just right there. Uh-oh. That's what we might have to do. I think we will. Couldn't quite get Edinburgh, but we'll get everything else. Okay. Treaty of Glasgow. So we got Plymouth down here. And that procced this peace conference. We've got a ton of war score. But Germany, being Germany, did its Germany thing. And so did Italy. So Italy took the Scottish Highlands as it typically does. And Germany takes Alsace-Lorraine or annexes it, or does whatever they do. So this kind of makes me upset. Okay, same old, same old stuff happens here. I'm going to try to take as much as I can here for myself. Oh, wow, we're actually able to take quite a bit because we, gr we grinded it out so much. Gonna take a second. Shit. That's so bad. At least we got Paris. At least we got Paris. And we got these two areas right here. So we've kind of cut off this part of Italy. This might be easy to take back if we just declare war against Italy. Um, it would be nice to puppet, like, the British Raj over here. Can I actually puppet the United Kingdom? Can't take all states. So, British Malaya, British Raj. So, wait. Maybe they haven't capitulated yet. No, that doesn't make sense. Because we have this over here. All right, we'll take Liverpool and see what else we can get. Birmingham? Nope. You just get Liverpool and that's it, my friend. Jesus. Puppet Yugoslavia. Satellite Macedonia? <laughs> All right. See if there's not enough another uh, peace conference. Okay, Treaty of Glasgow. We took 12 states. The German right took 76. UK was annexed. German Raj was puppeted. Damn it, and they got German Malaya. Damn. This is what ha This is what I was fearing. I didn't take Glasgow on purpose so that that wouldn't happen. But apparently, I took enough of the Allies' territory where it happened anyways. I've got a fair amount of territory here. If I wait till Operation Barbarossa, maybe I can make this happen. I've got plenty of divisions. I've got a foothold in the, in the British Isles here. So I could potentially take over the British Isles again, take over the south of France. Yeah, they do have a little communication there, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. If I can hold the line right here and then swallow this up and maybe hold the line right here who knows what might happen especially if um, a lot of people get eaten up in the Russian meat grinder so I think up until this point this is probably the best that I've done with that peace conference to be honest with you 
I have been able, I probably shouldn't say that because I have been able to get the German Raj and um, the British Malaya over here. So I'm not sure. Oh, we do have the Congo. And we still have our holdings up here. And I believe that we get our piece of the Netherlands back too. So please join me on the next one. I know this was a long video. Uh, but thanks for hanging in there with me. I just wanted to show you guys everything from start to finish and just kind of go from there. Uh, the next video, this time I'm going to be super careful and just try to take out Germany when the chips are down after Operation Barbarossa. So please like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, and I'll see you on the next one.